In this video, I wanna break down how to use Alibaba step-by-step. Step. Keep in mind is where you're gonna solidify your risk of getting burnt. Communication is big for me. Now, Alibaba is gonna be the main platform. It's gonna be the hub, the search engine that we are primarily using to find suppliers and manufacturers outside of the country or international. Now, there is a new option where you can find domestic suppliers. However, if you're looking for a domestic supplier, you definitely want to check out Google as well. However, nine times out of 10 for a majority of the products, international suppliers and manufacturers are going to make sense. Alibaba.com is a safe, reliable resource for finding your manufacturers because they have a network of verified suppliers and manufacturers, and they also have a proprietary safety net system called trade insurance to the point where they are literally limiting all of the risk and exposure that you have versus going directly to a supplier in China or elsewhere, one-to-one -one outside of the platform, right? So in this video, we're gonna show you exactly how to use Alibaba and all of the latest and greatest tips and strategies so you can find your first or your next supplier and hopefully save a ton of time as well as money. Let's dive in. All right, so here we are on Alibaba.com. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead and register and create an account, which is free, and once you do so, we wanna go over the basic navigation of Alibaba.com, right? Here up top where the flag is, you can see where you can ship to, you can change the addresses. Here's gonna be all of your correspondence with different suppliers, different manufacturers. Here you can click on categories and see all the different categories. I like this because you can literally hover right directly to a category and then do a search. You can see featured selections. Here's where the trade assurance is. This is where you can literally get, make safe and easy payments for your products so it's in escrow, it is safe. You can cover the shipping and logistics service, the after sales protection. This is pretty much the trade insurance is where you're going to solidify your risk of getting burnt or getting ripped off or buying a product that doesn't meet your expectations or it not being what you uh, designed with the supplier. All of their policies around money back, so on and so forth. You also have categories down here. You have supplier countries or regions and you have certifications down here. So if we want to stick to China, and we wanna to stick to specific niches or categories, we can go ahead and click on the country, click on that, we can click de delivery dates. I recommend doing verified suppliers. I also recommend doing a 4.0 review and up. And then I recommend looking for companies that have been in business and have a good star rating. So here you can see on these listings, you can see how long they've been in business, right? Seven years, where they're located, how many reviews they have, what's the review ratio score. You can see all of these things, right? And then you can take it a step further and you can actually see the name of their company. You can research the name of their company and make sure they are legit. However, again, going through trade assurance on your first order and going through Alibaba, you're gonna have that additional layer of support. If you wanna do an outside inspection company coupled with all of the protective measures that Alibaba offers, that's really gonna cross your T's and dot your I's, right? And we talk about that in other videos as well in terms of using a pre or a post manufacturing inspection company. Now here, when you're looking for products, you can literally just come in here and type the products. However, this is something new that I like doing. If you click this camera right here, what we can do is we can literally go to Amazon or we can go to Google or we can go anywhere and let's say that I wanna sell this product right here, right? I can take a screenshot of this image and then I can go and click on this camera and then I can upload the file And what it's gonna do, it's gonna show all relevant images. Now, even though there is keys inside of this image, so it is gonna populate keys, so this may have been a bad example. However, you can see how this can work, right? And the beautiful thing is it's also gonna show a ton of other relevant products that we're obviously doing good right now. Like these products are obviously probably doing well, that's why there's so many of them, right? So that is a fast and easy way, especially when you don't know how to decipher or describe what that product is. You can literally take a screenshot, you can upload it directly to Alibaba and Alibaba will start to um, show you the different products. When it comes to trying to search a product and find a product, what I found that works extremely well is to literally go to the actual listing. This first word right here is the name of the brand, so we don't wanna put that in there. What we wanna do is we wanna copy what it is, like the first main keyword. Okay, well, uh, the, like the first main set of keywords, and then we wanna copy that, and then we wanna go over here, and then we wanna copy paste this. and hit search, 
and here you can see it was the first one to show up, right? So usually by doing that, copy and pasting a few keywords in the title, it's gonna pop up. If you don't know how to describe it or it's not popping up, try the uh, screenshot as well. Now, when it comes to reaching out to these, these suppliers, it's pretty simple. They have, some have chat now options where you can literally start a live chat. You wanna keep in mind where you are located in the world and what time it is on China. So you can literally go to Google and say, what time is it now in China? If you don't know the time differences, and here you can see it's 3 a.m. It's safe to say that people are not working at 3 a.m. So if you know in four hours it's gonna be 7 a.m. or uh, in five hours it's gonna be 7.30, six hours it's gonna be 8.30, well, six hours from now, right now it's 12.30, it's gonna be 6.30 to seven my time. So the sweet spot for my time in Central and most people's in Eastern is gonna be like six to 9 p.m. at night, right? Now, I'm not gonna go down a rabbit hole with having VAs do this for you. However, most VAs are in the Philippines, which are very similar time zones to China. So what I do in my Amazon business and what we teach others in the AMZ formula is to, once you get up and rolling, to hire a VA in the Philippines because they can coordinate with your suppliers because they are on the same time zone. So while you're sleeping, your business is working for you without you working for it, right? Now, once you understand and you know that, the main thing is gonna be coming down to communication, right? Communication and bids. The biggest mistake I made with Alibaba and um, suppliers and manufacturers is going for the lowest price. I need you guys to understand that the lowest price is not the best value, right? And price is usually only an issue if value is absent. The reason why Apple's a trillion dollar company and Dell's not, the reason why Apple's a trillion dollar company and Acer is not, is because they offer the best product, right? So on Amazon, when we're selling products and with our own brands, we are trying to WWAD. What would Apple do? We're trying to offer a better product, a better solution, solve a bigger problem than everybody else. Yes, we do want to negotiate prices. Yes, we do want to work on lowering prices. However, never by cannibalizing the actual quality of the product. So we want to focus on the product being the best quality as possible. And when we're reaching out to different suppliers, I recommend reaching out to at least 10 suppliers and find out who's the biggest, who has the best pricing, and who is most confident about the best quality. If you wanna get examples or you wanna get samples from two to three of your top picks, you can do so. Usually they will, they will airship the product and cover the cost of the product if you pay for the shipping. When I'm looking at choosing a supplier on Alibaba, navigating Alibaba, communication is big for me. Is communication clear? Can I understand the communication? Are they responsive? Second is gonna be capacity. Do you have the capacity for my order flow right now and the future or potential future order flow for where we wanna be? You wanna set very clear expectations with that. And then number three is gonna be, can you produce the quality at the price point that we need so that we can grow together? And that is a basic overview. Again, in the AMZ formula, we go into this in great detail. We have videos and videos and videos that go over this. However, if I can give you any piece of advice, use ChatGPT or use another AI because the beautiful thing is AI can literally translate everything from English to Chinese for you. ChatGPT, you can literally put what you want to put into ChatGPT and tell the prompt to say, hey, make this easier to understand. I'm reaching out to a supplier. They are a Chinese native. This is what I want to do. This is what I came up with. Make this more simple, make this more professional, and it will literally repopulate and configure that for you. If you feel like you're struggling with the language, you can actually translate that into Chinese and add an additional line. Does this help communication? If so, all you have to do is just translate back and forth. So there's a ton of different tricks and a ton of different hacks that you can do. Another thing that's gonna save you, which I'll leave you with this, that will save you guys a ton of time, effort, and energy so you don't make the same mistakes I made losing so many hours doing research and talking to suppliers is, when you're looking for a product and you're reaching out to suppliers, do two things. Number one, create a template of what it is that you want so you're not typing it every single time. Number two, make sure on an Excel sheet or a piece of paper you keep track of the day, the time, and the actual supplier's name, as well as any other important information such as the price, key points, benefits, features, things you like, things you didn't like. So when you're trying to identify who you wanna go with, you know exactly who because you have all the data in front of you. And also understand, just because they don't respond back to you instantly the same day or the next day, doesn't mean that they don't wanna do business with you. And it doesn't mean that they're not a good manufacturer or supplier. Remember the time zone differences. Remember there's a, a difference uh, culturally. So there may be a different holiday that's going on, so on and so forth. The fortune is in the follow-up, constantly follow up. And that is the basis one-on-one -on, -one on how to use Alibaba to find your first or your next product. Let me know down below which tip you're gonna implement and if you're excited to get started with your first or your next product. And remember guys, you're only one product away.